Welcome back everyone, let's go ahead and do a comparison between the iPhone SE 3 and the iPhone XR and see which specific iPhone you should go and pick up. Now this is a quick comparison, I'm going to be pre-ordering the iPhone SE 3 this Friday and then having a bunch of videos for you guys. But starting off with the outside, there is a pretty big difference here. The iPhone XR obviously is a much better looking iPhone, it has not the lowest amount of bezels but it does have a less bezel than the iPhone SE 3, it has a notch on the front too which I think looks better than the amount of bezel on the iPhone you know, SE 3, but the iPhone SE 3 does have a little bit of a different design, you know, quite a bit dated as of today's standards. We do have we do have a lot more bezel, we have the home button, and it's a smaller phone than the iPhone XR as well. But the resolutions of the panel are around the same, so it's not like you're getting like a crazy better display on there, but you are getting a much better feeling and looking phone for sure. The price tag is a little bit different as well. You do have the brand new iPhone SE 3 costs $429 to pick up. The iPhone XR stopped being sold brand new a couple months ago at $499. Now it's probably available for around $290 to about $320 for the base model, and that is a much cheaper price tag to pay than an iPhone SE 3. But the iPhone SE 3 does have a couple things up its sleeves. It has the Apple A15 Bionic chip inside of it, which is cool. It's actually really good and I love having, you know, a cheaper iPhone with the latest chipset. But it also has 5G support as well. I don't know if 5G is like a crazy cool feature to go and upgrade to right now. I mean, maybe a couple of years from now it will be. But I do like how this thing has that A15 Bionic chip. And from what I've tested with the iPhone 13s, it it is faster than the you know A12 Bionic chip that was inside the iPhone XR. So it really comes down to how much longer you want to keep your iPhone XR. In my opinion, I think going from an iPhone XR to an SE3 is probably not the correct move. I think going from an iPhone XR to an iPhone 11 or an iPhone 13, those are the appropriate things to do. The 11 is going to you know outlast the XR probably. So I'd much rather recommend going in that direction with the iPhone 13. With the iPhone SE 3, I just don't see why somebody will want to buy this phone at that price tag. I think $429 is overpriced, especially with the SE 2 being $399. That iPhone was overpriced at that point. Even if this thing has the latest chipset and it has, you know, 5G, it just doesn't make any sense at $429. And the 10R could potentially have better battery life as well. So that's a quick comparison. I'll let you guys know when I fully get it, but those are just my thoughts as of right now. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.